He needs as well. And I can't do that, can I? You didn't know? About the exercise crap, yeah, about this, not a word. I'm sorry, I assumed that well, you Frank did... is everything to me, Mrs Beecham. I get it wrong sometimes, I know I do, but at least I care. This is just... exploiting him. Griffin's taking advantage. We're all right as we are. Right, would you like me to have a word with Mr Griffin? I, I'm quite happy to do that, if it would help. I can't recommend her highly enough. Well, extra experience can be arranged. No, don't mention me. I'm doing it as a favour. Come on, Joe. Go to sleep. Oh, poor little thing. That crash over those useless. They say walk him around a bit. It's not doing any good. Maybe you're a bit worried and he's picking up on that. It's a baby, Rachel, not a magnet. <coughs> I'm sorry. I just had this half the night. Come on, you take him. My arms are killing me. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just tired. This can go on all. How's it going, Tiger? I've been looking for you. Oh, we're Mr. Griffin. All right. Had a bit of a wobble back there, did we? Yeah. Well, I can't help wobbling, can I? <laughs> no, you and me both. <laughs> so, how about a coffee and a muffin or something? I don't know, Dad. Of course you do. I've been speaking to Mr Griffin. Oh, yeah? He understands me, what I'm like. No, Frankie, I understand you. I'm your dad. Griffin says it won't be easy. Griffin says you have to dig deep. Well, Griffin has his own agenda. What do you mean? Let's eat, shall we? All right, light a dissector, please. Well, I wasn't expecting the pleasure of Miss Naylor's company today. I didn't expect it either. There's the pulmonary vein, the junction of the left atrium. Someone somewhere pull a few strings, did you? I suggested it as a matter of fact. You did. Hmm? Valuable experience, this kind of thing. Oh, yes, it's quite an event. I hear poor George got himself in a bit of a state. I know something was troubling him. Wouldn't say what. Conscience, probably. Another look of him. OK, ablation clamp, please. Well, I expect it will come out in the end. These things always do. Well, I think I'm ready to ablate. Right, Miss Naylor, look at that screen. Got a perfect view of the anatomy of the heart. Everything's there, for all to see. Yeah, look, the line of block across the roof of the left atrium. Uh, excuse me, there's a call from Miss Naylor. Oh, I'm not going to take it now, am I? Professor Stanley, calling you from India. Professor Stanley. Can you call him back? Yeah. Okay. Lloyd Stanley, do you think? No idea. Well, what would he want? Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Meanwhile, do you think we might focus on Mr. Lane's atrial fibrillation? Thank you. I, um, thought you ought to know that Frankie's father's been to see me as he's entitled to. And you gave me your unequivocal support. Of course. As you're obliged to. Excuse me. Well, I was just going to suggest maybe you should step back from this case. Step back? Mm. Rick, I think it could become increasingly problematical. Why should it? Because he's read a little pamphlet and I don't think he feels it. You showed it to him? No, no, no. It was a mock-up. I told you that. <laughs> Do you really think I don't know what this is about? Right. Vic, I'm only telling you this. It's so just... transparent. What I'm doing is what Frankie wants. What? Do you know what? If I were you, I wouldn't assume to know what Frankie wants. Ah, Joseph. How was the mini maze? Rather pleasurable, actually. Perhaps you'd like to fill me in? Mm. Oh. The truth will come to light. How intriguing. Intriguing? It's graffiti. Why so prickly? Oh, because it's nonsense. Truth will come to light. Complete nonsense. I'm not so sure. There was this murderer, plagued by guilt at what he'd done. 
What had he done? Killed someone. He was a murderer. Right, but who? I don't know. His boss, I think. Anyway, he was completely in the clear. Nobody knew it was him. Then, these letters started appearing. Letters? Pointing the finger at him. One to his wife, one to his best friend. So someone did know it was him? Of course. Of course. You just said that no one. He did. He did. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't see where this is going. He was writing the letters himself. Well, why would he do that? I don't know. I, I don't think he even knew he was doing it. But he was so consumed with guilt that it had to come out in some way. Perhaps our uh, graffiti artist here is proclaiming his guilt to the world. In time, we may find out what he's done. Well, that's not possible, surely. Professor Stanley. What? It was him who wanted to talk to me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hi. Interesting. Quite interesting. Joseph, when you're ready. Yeah. Joe. I've just taken him back. He just needed a change of air, that's all. And you? Me too. <clears throat> Selena, we talked about this. I have to have them with me. We won't be able to get to you. But if Mother comes to see me and I haven't got them out... You won't expect to see them all lined up, will she? Well, she might. You don't know. Anyway, what about my bag? We're looking for it. Don't keep going on about it. Well, it has mother's photos in it, so you better find it. That's it. Just put a lid on it. She'll be discharged soon. Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh, no, wait, Dad. Mr. Griffin, I need a word. Uh, perhaps not here. Well, here will do. Won't take long. I take it this is about Frankie. Too right it is. Then it's not fair to talk here. Well, it's no big secret. Frankie won't mind. Isn't that for him to say? Well, you know that better than me, dear. I'm his father. Whatever he thinks and feels is my business, not yours. What's the matter? You got no family of your own, is that it? You leave my boy alone, all right? Dad, please. Doesn't mince his words, your father, does he? Well, he says the leaflets don't tell the truth. Of course they do. He also says that it's for your benefit and not mine. Is that true? Miss Naylor, you look different. What is it? Hairstyle? Faye, do you think she looks different? Yes, there are. There is something, perhaps. It's a top thing. A new look? I'm glad we worked that out. Very nice. What's, uh, behind this new look, I wonder? Just makes a change, that's all. You know, the more I think about it, the more I just can't imagine the father, can you? I should think he's well off the scene by now. I suppose so. He's got any sense. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have gone there in the first place. I wonder what she's gonna call it. Mephistopheles, I should think. Jack, you love. Jack the Nipper. <clears throat> Mr. Lane's amended notes. So, uh, how did it go with your Professor Oliver? Stanley. Stanley, yeah, that's it. Well, like I said, interesting. Quite flattering, as a matter of fact. Really? Yeah, he's made me an offer. A very good offer. Well, that's good. Yes. Not bad. Well, I can't accept, so of course. You, to... you can't? There's so much going on here. Like what? Being in on the mini maze, for one. Well, that was just... Might it not be worth it for the status it would give you? It might, I suppose. But it's India, and I don't think the timing is quite right. So you've said no? More or less. Thanks for being interested, though, Joseph. Sweet of you. That said, it'll take years to lose weight this way. Well, look, Frank, it's not going to happen overnight. Yeah, but years. I don't want to be past it before it even start, Mr Griffin. It won't be like that. But if there's a quicker way... Are you talking about surgery? Rash it, man, yeah. Frankie, look, I thought we'd agreed that this is not appropriate in your case. Well, no, I'm not so sure. 